Hey, thanks for coming through to check out this video. I've been getting questions on how to sew a patch into a five panel hat. So I'm going to go a bit more in depth about it and um, what materials you need and stuff. Um, basically, the, the material I use is black cotton twill. It's also called twill drill. So if you just Google it, um, it will come up. I get mine from Amazon. Um, I'm obviously printing white on it. There's like a smooth side and a side with all the lines in it. I print on the smooth side and um, make my patches out of it. I've also got the red, red here, which is cool. I print white on it and it comes out great. Uh, after that, you cut your patch out. Now this is a fabric cut. Don't do it with scissors because it's hard to get, you know, get it perfect. But if you do it with this and like a metal ruler, it works great. After that, you end up with something like this, your patch with a screen print on it. And then you're going to need this, which is Prim Fray Check. Uh, you can get any other Fray Check, which probably did the good job. But basically, it's to stop your patch from fraying and looking like shit. So you just make sure you go around quite, quite nicely with it. And, and don't be stingy. And the edges of your patch will be will feel hard after it's dry, it takes about 15 minutes to dry and your patch will feel like a bit more solid. If you've already got a patch then you don't need to worry about this but um, like yeah if you've ordered them like they're, they're like double overlocks and you can you can sew that in a hat and that would be fine but I, I go from scratch and this is how I make my patches. So when you've got your patch and you've got your blank hat Basically, you want to stick the patch to the hat. Now, this is the equivalent of pinning it. If you're if you're making if you're sewing something into a t-shirt or making a dress or something, you pin it. But pinning a hat is difficult because um, you know you you're trying to take the pins out as you're going around. It's 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 only a small thing. I find that gluing it is the best way to go. It looks something like that before you stitch it. So mine are glued and stitched. It just makes it stronger and easier. If you don't do it, if you if you don't glue it and you just try and um, sew it straight in, I often find that the patch has moved and it's on crooked. So you're all skew here, and you know that's not cool. So basically, yeah, yeah, it's something like that. And you've got your fray check around there, and it just feels solid already before you've even started to sew it. So yeah, that's the next step. Right, so when you've done that, uh, the next step is to get this sweatband out of the way. This is really important. Um, if you if you don't and you leave it, I, I use tape to get it out of the way. Um, and I tape it from here and it comes around the peak and here. And it just, it gets it out of the way. If you don't, it will sneak in and you'll end up sewing the sweatband into the hat. Which, you know, you don't want. I've done it a few times when you're learning. I did it a couple of times, and you know you have to unpick everything and start again, and it's a pain in the ass. So yeah, the most one of the most important things is to get this sweatband out of the way. Um, once you've done that and it's taped up, you're ready to start sewing it. So once you're ready to start sewing, you want to come down straight to the bottom of the patch, and you start at the bottom. The bottom's the hardest bit because the peak is in the way. Now this might look as though I'm damaging the hat or you know it's going to come out crap but um, it pops straight back up and it's fine afterwards. So you want to start right at the bottom corner, bring the needle down so you can see where it's going to go and then you start sewing it. Now that was just a little lock stitch, now you're ready. To start sewing it. If the hat's like if it's if it's difficult to um to to keep the footer down, then 
you sort of can you can just twist the peak up a little bit try and go in a straight line along the bottom it will get easier on the sides and the top the bottom's the hardest when you get to the edge you want to bring the footer up and turn it when the needle's in the down position that way you're not um, you're not um, losing your space so now that's all done across the bottom fine and do the sides Again, needle in the down position, foot comes up, and then you turn it. So that's the side. Now this is just a running stitch, and you, you want to do it so they're all in line, really small stitches, because you want to be able to stop right on the edge of the patch. Okay, Don't try and do big ones, because you'll come to the end and it will want to jump off onto the hat instead of being on the patch. So you just little stitches, and you change that on the side of your sewing machine. So do the top. Now at the end you just want to lock the stitch so you go back a few stitches. And that's it. Now you're done. You just pull it out. And cut off the thread. And once you're finished, this is the result. You just um, you cut the thread off from the front and the inside and that's the result so that is glued and sewn and this is the elephant and mouse five panel hat at my shop benprints.com check it out boom check it out you now know how to sew a patch into a five panel hat i hope you enjoyed the video um, don't be one of them dudes that just glues it on and thinks that it's okay and when you're walking down the street and your patch is curling off the side of your hat don't be one of them dudes sew it in as well because it's important and it looks legit you can sew into any five panel I found like this is a Yupung the classic jockey cap these look really good too I would recommend these hats nice um, you can try it in a snapback too if, you, if you're into that um, I don't know how, how well they bounce back uh, once they've been crushed down. It's probably all right. Uh, me, I'm more of a five panel guy. Um, but yeah, yeah, you could try this too. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and you found some use from it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, Ben Prince, and check out my website, benprince.com. Boom.